Welcome to our podcast. And this week at London Visited, we go to Fortnum and Mason to tell you all about this iconic building and shop in London. My name is Steve, and each week I'll bring to you the facts, history, and information about different parts of this great capital. If you've been to London, are planning on visiting, live here, or just love London from afar, then this is the podcast for you. Don't forget to visit our YouTube channel, London Visited, to see videos covering this place and so many others across London. And now, to this week's podcast. Fortnum & Mason, colloquially known and shortened often to just Fortnum's, is an upmarket department store in Piccadilly, in the centre of London, with additional stores at St Pancras Railway Station and Heathrow Airport, as well as various stockists worldwide. Its headquarters are located at 181 Piccadilly, where it was established in 1707 by William Fortnum and Hugh Mason. Today, it is privately owned by Whittington Investments Limited. Founded as a grocery store, Fortnum's reputation was built on supplying quality food and saw rapid growth throughout the Victorian era. Though Fortnum's developed into a basic department store, it continues to focus on stocking a variety of exotic, speciality and also basic provisions. The store has since opened several other departments, such as the gentleman's department on the third floor. It is also the location of a tea shop and several restaurants. William Fortnum was a footman in the household of Queen Anne. The royal family's insistence on having new candles every night resulted in large amounts of half-used wax, which Fortnum promptly resold for a tidy profit. The enterprising Fortnum also had a sideline business as a grocer. He convinced his landlord, Hugh Mason, to be his associate, and they founded the first Fortnum and Mason store in Mason's small shop in St. James's Market in 1707. In 1761, William Fortnum's grandson Charles went into the service of Queen Charlotte, and the affiliation with the royal court led to an increase in business. Fortnum and Mason claims to have invented the Scotch egg in 1738. The store began to stock speciality items, namely ready-to-eat luxury meals such as fresh poultry or game, served in aspic jelly. During the Napoleonic Wars, the Emporium supplied dried fruit, spices and other preserves to British officers and during the Victorian era, it was frequently called upon to provide food for prestigious court functions. Queen Victoria even sent shipments of Fortman and Mason's concentrated beef tea to Florence Nightingale's hospitals during the Crimean War. Charles Fortnum, of the family, was a distinguished art collector and trustee of the British Museum, to which he donated his collection of Islamic ceramics. In 1886, after having bought the entire stock of five cases of new product made by H.J. Heinz, Fortnum & Mason became the first store in Britain to stock tins of baked beans. In April 1951, the Canadian businessman W. Garfield Weston acquired the store to become its chairman following a boardroom coup. In 1964, he commissioned a four-ton clock to be installed above the main entrance of the store, as a tribute to its founders. Every hour, four-foot-high, 1.2-metre models of William Fortnum and Hugh Mason emerge and bow to each other, with chimes and the 18th-century style music playing in the background. Since Garfield Weston's death in 1978, the store has been run by his granddaughters, the store went through a £24 million refurbishment in 2007 as part of its 300-year celebrations. In March 2012, the Queen, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, made their first official joint visit to Fortnum & Mason. During this visit, they were each presented with their own personalised hampers. The Queen opened the Diamond Jubilee Tea Salon on the fourth floor. In November 2013, an additional store was opened at St Pancras International Station, the first new store in the UK. Fortnum & Mason opened its first standalone store outside Britain in Dubai on the 21st of March 2014. This store was later closed in 2017. In April 2019, it was announced that Fortnum & Mason would make its Hong Kong debut later that year. The 7,000 square foot space features a retail store showcasing the brand's product line, including teas, biscuits, wines, as well as teaware and champagne, while guests can enjoy the establishment's food and beverage offerings in the upstairs restaurant with a panoramic view of the Victoria Harbour. In November 2014, Fortnum & Mason released a rebranded and redeveloped London Dry Gin, created as a partnership brand 
by the London Distillery Company. The London Distillery Company was approached by Fortnum & Mason in September 2014 to undertake the rebrand following continued in-store success of Dodd's Gin, which was created as a tribute to an 18th century engineer and entrepreneur, Ralph Dodd. The partnership then created Fortnum's London Dry Gin. Fortnum & Mason run an annual industry acclaimed food and drinks awards ceremony. In the words of the Fortnum & Mason CEO, Ewan Nifentners, the awards recognise the pinnacle of high achievement in food and drink across the media. The awards celebrate the best writers, publishers, presenters, image makers and personalities working in the food and drink industry. I hope you've enjoyed our look at Fortnum & Mason, world-renowned for the various warrants on the side of the buildings and used by a royalty. Whatever podcast service you use to listen to this, please do subscribe to get updates on new shows and also please leave us some feedback. Please let me know any places you'd like us to feature in future podcasts and you can let me know through our website www.londonvisited.co.uk by emailing me directly on londonvisited at gmail.com or you can contact us on Twitter and Instagram at London Visited or Facebook on at The London Visited. Thanks for listening. Really hope you enjoyed our podcast and we'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye.